Welcome back to another Dre and J death battle in this corner with a one and two death battle record this year. Javante Jones! Hey, I'll tell y'all right now, I know y'all heard Kendrick dissing Drake and J. Cole. I'm the Kendrick in this situation. I've been sitting back, chilling in the background, letting things slide, not coming out there with that energy. But we back. And we taking shots tonight, and we gonna get this dub, and we gonna go two and one, two and two, and we gonna go on a winning streak. It's starting now. I'm Kendrick in this situation. This is J Cole. I mean, we've, we've seen. I'm buying him. We, we we've experienced this the past two seasons of Death Battle with us. It's different. You say this shit every time. I'm coming with a different level of energy this time. You said that last time. Back then I was Meek Mill. Oh my god. Now I'm Kendrick. Okay. I'm really here. All right. Anyway, in this corner, two and one leading death battle, and probably will continue to lead in death battle records. DeAndre. Oh, I also forgot to mention, two-time death battle prediction. Bro, you're the Chiefs on the Niners. The fans are with me. Jones. The fans are with me, bro. The people, the people that watch these with us. Or watch are this? they? Are they with me, bro? They, they? Want see, they want to see the underdog win. Bro. They tired they? to see me win. Yes. No, no, they want to. They want to go with the one that actually fits the right fucking fits. Hey, I'm not. A lot of time, Vegeta didn't seem that bad, bro. I like Vegeta. I thought Vegeta had a chance. Nah, you were tripping there. Also, Dragon Ball Z power skill. Like I said, the video power skill be all over the place. I'll be knowing. I'm like, hey, low key. I seen mother go toe to toe with Superman. That's that's Goku though. That's like the nigga in Dragon Ball. But Vegeta's right there too. He's up there. He's top tier. He He's up echelon. All right, today we're here with another death battle. We got Ben Tim versus Green Lantern. Battle of the Greens. Battle of the Greens. Yeah. I don't know who I'm rocking with yet. This is going to be tough. Because Ben Tim got some great things. He got all the monsters, but he's limited, though. I mean, he has a different monster for everything, but we really like crafting with his mind. So it's like, whatever's in his, whatever he can think of, he can make. Mm -hmm. So that's tough. And I don't know what you're going to get. I don't know if you're going to join. I'm getting John Stewart. If I'm getting John Stewart. He got that hand-to-hand -hand combat, too, now. So he's a military man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We got to see. You got already pick? No, I'm going with Green Lantern. That's okay, he's going with Green Lantern. I gotta look and see. Yeah, you know, I gotta go. DC and DC in this match. I gotta look and see if they're gonna get big time. I gotta look and see. Ben Nice, don't get me wrong, but, you know, with the, like like you just said, the power of the ring, it's. it's but get that ring off. I mean, the only way. Once you, you cut the ring off his hand, yeah, like he did in uh, DC. Just yeah, when you cut his finger off or something, I don't know, some shit like that. Or, you gotta break his will. Yeah, but he has I mean, Ben, I, we gonna see, bro. Ben got some things up his side. I might go Ben I gotta look and see. I'm not gonna call it till after I see it. No, Changing up, I'm trying to look, watch first. Let's check it out. Let me get this, let me see that footage. Let me see that, uh, let me see that. <laughs> watch, watch the film. Let me see that huddle tape, Mike. Let me see that huddle film. Rooster. For years, humans have gazed at the stars, contemplating the possibilities of first contact with an alien race. Will we exchange gifts of peace or weapons of war? Weapons, definitely weapons, like these ones. Ben 10, protector of Earth and wielder of the Omnitrix. And the Green Lantern, oh, the lawman and bearer of the power grid. Nah, and boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I should have put my nigga John Stewart in it, but you know, hey. Benjamin Tennyson was just your average 10 year old boy. He loved video games, hated school, and was prepared to have the most boring summer vacation ever until destiny fell from the sky. Upon discovering a strange crash landed alien device, it stuck itself upon his wrist with secrets that it hid. Now he's got superpowers, he's no ordinary kid, he's been dead. Sorry. Just can't help myself, that thing's song so damn catchy! This strange device was the Omnitrix, a portable library of intergalactic genetic data that can transform its user into a variety of different alien species. Sounds like the perfect way to get freaky with some alien babes from all across the galaxy! Well, you do you. But the cosmic warlord Vilgax had something different in mind. With the Omnitrix technology, he planned to create an army of superpowered aliens and conquer the universe. Yeah, typical villain stuff. But old hentai face would have to wait, cause Ben got the watch first and became a superhero. Well, okay, first he burned down a forest, but then he got busy with the hero stuff. 
The Omnitrix contains a built-in radio, universal translator, distress signal, a self-defense pulse blast against anyone trying to force it off Ben's wrist, and, as a bonus, it can tell time. And whenever Ben comes across a new alien he'd like to cosplay, he can scan their DNA so we can add them to his transformation collection. And he's got time to choose from. He's got alien form that can control the elements like lightning, water, ice, and fire with his very first transformation ever, heat blast. Along with some just beautiful fire puns. I'm totally hot. <laughs> uh, all, all to say is, Green Lantern has raised a bunch of these motherfuckers to play in the Justice League. Yeah. As Accelerate, he can run fast enough to dodge lightning. As Diamond Head, he this can survive is, massive explosions like there were nothing. But if he was brains over prone like myself, he can increase his intelligence with alien forms like Brainstorm, who has an IQ of one nonillion. That's a one, followed by thirty zero. That must be a new age. I'm gonna that one originally. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all right. My trip. He can fly his jet ray, duplicate himself with Ditto, and eat his feelings away as Upchuck. Well, that's really not a healthy way to handle issues. You know, you're right, you say. Yeah, he should really just stick to alcohol. And if he ever wants to suck for some reason, he's got Waka Trout, which I is a fish with sure. legs. And that's it. Probably Ben's worst transformation, and that's saying a lot considering he has an alien literally named the worst. If old tiny horror movies are your thing, Ben can transform into every plastic monster you can think of. Because I guess zombies and werewolves were aliens all along. I knew it. Through different forms, Ben can manipulate the fundamental forces of the universe, like gravity, radiation, time, and energy. Yeah, I'm going Ben too. For instance, once absorbed the entirety of the Big Bang, and then started a robot supervillain creating a time loop and saving the universe. Yeah, as he's got used to hero work, Ben's aliens started getting pretty insane. Like Weibei, who's basically a giant kaiju who can fire a cosmic ray from his chest, powerful enough to hurt a being made of pure energy. And let's not forget my personal favorite alien, Mole Stash. He's a mole who punches people with his mustache. <laughs> you can't break that. Yeah, I definitely really am. Here's some addition to Ben's mass arsenal. But contrary to the show's very specific title, Ben's Omnitrix doesn't just have access to 10 alien forms. In fact, it has 1,912. He's no ordinary guy. He's been 1,912. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't quite grow yeah, up the top like Ben 10 does it. Well, <clears throat> let's see if I can take one of the... Crazy, how do you switch to all the How do you switch to one, one million aliens? Well, the Omnitrix <laughs> does have one drawback. Get the favorites all set. Yeah, I'm not gonna have any top ten shit. Because overuse can permanently disfigure the user's DNA. Alright, I'm gonna say that part of the earlier. I'm going, excuse me, I need to pee out my face. I'll fix this later. This cooldown would be a recurring issue for Ben until he discovered Master Control, a special code which, when input into the Omnitrix, just let him use it however he wanted. And if he's ever on death's door, the watch will automatically pop him into whatever alien body it thinks he needs at the time to survive whatever's happening. And there's one form that's almost always the best answer. Alien X. Born in the forge of creation beyond the multiverse yeah, itself, Alien X is a celestial sapient, oh, yeah. the most powerful species in the universe. He is basically a cosmic god who can punch oh, yeah, the bitch, fly faster than light, duplicate himself, control minds, use telekinesis, reverse time, warp reality, and even just straight up erase people from existence. It takes a lot to get their attention, and that's fine. We don't want it. Why not? They can just blink, and we'd be gone. Alien X is so tough, he survived the destruction of the entire universe by the Annihilar and didn't feel a thing. Like, his durability was so through the roof, he didn't even realize total cosmic annihilation was happening right on top of him. Based on rough estimates made by a NASA astrophysicist, the total mass Sorry. energy of the universe I wasn't familiar with your game. And to top it off, Ben as Alien X went and just remade an entirely new universe identical to the old one. First of all, how the hell? Second, since he just made a copy universe, that technically means that all those characters we watched through the whole show are still dead. Damn, dude! Throw somebody a bone or something! 
However, celestial sapiens are composed of multiple personalities, and if they can't unanimously agree on what action to take, which can take billions of years, all that power is basically useless. My friend convinced his extra personalities that that's a really goddamn stupid and he should have full control all the time, so it doesn't matter. Why doesn't he just go full alien X all the time? Well, a little variety doesn't hurt, right? Plus, even without his alien forms, Ben is pretty clever and has a knack for getting himself out of trouble, even when things get really weird. And he's saved the universe more times than he can count. He's defeated Vilgax when he had the power of a Cthulhu god, ended the hybrid conspiracy, and whooped another celestial sapien, the Galactic Gladiator, by flying so fast he created a galaxy-sized black hole. We can tell from the size of the black hole in relation to the galaxies in the background, as well as how long it took to create, that Alien X must have been flying approximately seven quadrillion times faster than light speed. I get it, Wiz. Alien X is totally overpowered, but Ben doesn't keep any of those powers as a human. Not much of a problem when the Omnitrix can instantly transform him fast enough to catch the Big Bang. The only thing truly holding Ben back throughout his hero career was his immaturity, being a ten-year-old and all. Oh yeah, like that one time he messed with the Omnitrix and accidentally set it to self-destruct. After charging up for a few days, it would destroy the whole universe on its own. So that's not great. Fortunately, Ben grew into a reliable and wildly successful hero by the time he reached the age of 16. He would continue his hero work into the future, eventually adopting the name Ben 10,000. The world can rest easy with Ben 10 as its first and best line of defense. Six Six and Volcanus? What are they doing here? About to get their alien butts kicked. That's what. You heard it. That's the main Hal Jordan was just your average devilishly handsome ladies man and hotshot test pilot who discovered a crash-landed alien ship in the desert. Okay, so maybe he's not so average. I'll say, he found this guy, Abed Sur, dying in a crashed spaceship who gave Hal a little green ring before kicking the bucket. And so, by reciting an ancient oath, Hal Jordan would become a Green Lantern. The Green Lantern Corps is a universe-spanning law enforcement organization founded by the immortal Malthusians, also known as the Guardians of the Universe. Hey, they're space Oompa-Loompas. More like leprechauns. Okay, fine, whichever mythical creature you want. No, no, I mean a group of them traveled to Earth centuries ago and literally evolved into modern-day leprechauns. I knew they were real! Anyway, the Green Lantern Corps has patrolled the known universe for three billion years, recruiting members of every shape and size. Including a living planet, a sentient smallpox virus, some guy with an exploding volcano for a head, a living math equation, and a squirrel. Man, even after all these years, Wiz, comics are weird. But imagine what it felt like for Hal when he began training on the Guardian oh. of World of Oa. Over time, he grew to be one of the Corps' greatest we members about and defender of the universe. Just with that ring of his, it might look tiny, but if Mjolnir, Yoda, and years of therapy have taught me anything, it isn't the size that counts. It's what you do with it. Uh, right. The Green Lantern Power Ring is actually one of the most impressive weapons ever made. It's most well known for its ability to create hard and light constructs that function identically to what they're inspired by. Anything from boxing gloves to machine guns to an entire solar system. While a ring's wielder must be familiar with the object they're creating, they don't necessarily need to know all the ins and outs for it to function. The ring's energy can boost Hal's strength and speed, and also protect him with a force field. He can shoot lasers, phase through objects, turn invisible, read minds, heal wounds, and fly through space faster than light. The only true limit to a power ring's utility is its user's imagination, insofar as allowing the Green Lanterns to bend the rules of the universe to their whims. They can transmute matter and energy, manipulate time, form pocket dimensions, and work the fabric of reality. And even though Up and Sewer went out like a bitch, the ring makes a competent Green Lantern really tough to kill. It has built-in defenses to protect against mind control, and it can sometimes yank its owner out of harm's way all on its own. It can even defend against multiversal erasure events. I'll still never kill one of them. I'll try to go so off the dark side. I'll so <laughs> extract it over the Paradigma Star. Bring it to your own. to the face. Whatever's in these rings, I want it in my dune buggy stead. That would be pure, unfiltered willpower. Yeah, how many miles of the gallon do you think that is? Okay, well, a Green Lantern's ability stems from their own willpower. 
the stronger their will is, the more the ring can do. So, willpower is green. Does that make fear brown? Yellow, actually, as dictated by the emotional electromagnetic spectrum, an energy field from which all emotion in the universe is derived. Kinda like if the force from Star Wars was a rainbow of feelings, and Hal's got more willpower busted out than anybody else, which makes him really damn powerful, and really damn reckless. Green Lantern yep. <laughs> His place is jumping. was possession by parallels, an entity of fear, and that was his lowest planets to fall. But it's been said. said that knowing true fear made Hal's will even stronger than before. Like when he went up against this blue dickweed Krona, who took control of all these space animal guns that embodied the different rainbow spectrum emotions, including Ion, the green basking shark of willpower. Yes, I know. Hal was able to overturn Krona's plan, which meant overpowering the literal embodiment of all willpower in the universe with his own willpower. That sounds... Uh, impressive? Impossible? Impressible? Hal's been knocked through a planet, blasted by a supernova, and punched by the reality-shattering Superboy Prime. He was fast enough to fly to Earth from a planet at the edge of the universe, and factoring how DC's observable universe is at least 100 trillion light years in diameter, Hal must have been flying well over one and a half quintillion times the speed of light. And without the ring, Hal once had to pilot a ship traveling over light speed manually. As in, there were planets and stars in his way, and Hal had to steer. And since he can match the god of willpower, he can pull up crazy will feats that other Green Lanterns have done, like when Kyle Rayner held back a big bang. But to be fair, the power ring is not perfect. It does carry a finite charge, and should he expend too much energy too quickly, he'll need his power battery to refuel. Also, if his opponent can ruin his willpower, or even just his belief in himself, Hal won't be able to use the ring, which is late. Yeah, these powers are pretty complex. Batman once had a plan to trick Kyle into thinking he was blind, and because he believed he was, the ring reacted to his thoughts and actually made him blind. But Hal's too badass to let a little sadness take him out for good. Hell, he's got the cojones to arrest God. But Wiz, I gotta address the yellow elephant in the room. Why the hell are Green Lanterns weak to yellow? Ages ago, yes, the Green Lanterns couldn't affect anything yellow because Parallax had messed with their power source, but that is no longer the case, so Hal isn't held back by the colors. And really, that's not even the worst weakness a Green Lantern ever had. Oh yeah, way back in the day, a Green Lantern went rogue and tried to take over a planet of people with crude wooden weapons. And so as a great little F.U., the gods decided to make him weak to wood right before the blows started landing. Ah, good thing it's not a problem for hell. Whether it be brightest day or blackest night, all should respect the emerald light of the Green Lantern. Or he'll willpower you to death. Yeah, the very god, dog. You know what? Please say no. You'll never catch me, Lantern. That's tough. Hey. You know, I'll make it fun. I'll make it Green Lantern. I, I, I think it's a toss up. What? Are you trying to change over? Uh, all right, the bets that. are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, hey, I'm Chad at the Boomstick. I'm Ben, and I'm sick. Yep. Uh, but we did want to tell you guys about our event that we put on every year called RTX in Austin, Texas. It's a super fun convention where we've got a million things going on. We've got video games and meet and greets and panels and signings and lots of fun stuff to do. And we hope you'll join us there. We can't wait to see you there. We've got a couple panels that we're going to be doing. Uh, there's one on Saturday, the Death Battle one. It's time for a death battle. We do it as often as we can. It's always fun to have. I promise I will. I wonder if they still do it. RTX. Yeah. Probably a good idea. It's time for a death battle! Sorry, Green Lantern, Ben 10. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Hello! Green Lantern, best looking guardian of Sector 2814 at your service. I can give you 10 good reasons right now to let me go! Sorry, kid. Seems you're carrying a classic galactic super weapon. I'll just take this. Yeah, nice try from the start. Okay. Uh, Keep sure. playing with us. Oh, I ain't tell y'all about Y'all already know, though. Big You are gonna win. Big don't let me down, big dog. Come on. Don't let me down. 
And the only one I'm scared of is that guy Pew. That speed one's that speed one's tough too. That speed. Yeah. He works with the flash every day. You tell me he's used to it. He didn't want it. Oh, damn, he did do that. Ah, damn. Now he's bleeding. It's time. It's time, huh? Thanks for the tip. Oh, yes. Protect yourself from that shit. You're not the first to try to take this. He's hero tip. Damn. That's so lame, bro. Damn. That's lame as fuck, bro. That's lame damn. as fuck, bro. Damn. Because obviously it ain't working for you. But uh, 
Hey, <laughs> great fight though, man. Vince hey, had his ass. Actually, yeah, hey, bro. he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, thanks for the tip. Hey, he ain't lose like that, bro. Hey, he hit you with that bang. He hit you with that bang. He said, you thought time was your ass. <laughs> hey, you know, so if I was born in it. Before the fight, I said, like, what if he cut, what if he cut, what if he cut, what if he cut, what if he cut on Greenland's arm for he can't use the hand? Yeah. Right? And then and he, he called me in Big Ten's arm. That's crazy. Sheesh. Hand. Damn. That's tough. Hey, I'll take it. Three one, or no, actually no, three, two one. Yeah, three one, three one. Let's go. Shit, bro, I three one, one three. three. And this ain't the Cavs. This ain't the Cavs. We're worried. You oh shit, back. I'm making it wrong. You bro. ain't coming back from this lead, dude. I'm wrong. I'm gonna come back on this moment. Nah, nah, nah. But three one. That's, that's what's up. That's fucking tough, guys. Yeah, you need to stop. Hey, I appreciate y'all for still supporting, rocking with me. We're gonna get this right, guys. Yeah, they're done at this point. You've done enough. Look, guys, I'm trying to be smart with my picks. I'm trying to pick things like, oh, shit, like I see some badges here, but I'm sorry I failed you guys once again. Nah, forgive me. We'll be back again. We're going to be doing it. Hey, we ain't done yet, guys. We ain't, we ain't done yet. Keep the fight going, guys. We ain't done yet. The fight's still going. I'm just curious. What are, what are some other ones just to uh... That's a good one. It's only nine minutes. That's a good one. Dude. Interesting. Um, Terminator versus Robocop. It's not bad either. It's not bad. Kratos versus Spawn. Joker versus Sweet Tooth. Yeah. Those are good ones. Joker, yeah, Joker versus Sweet Tooth. Wolverine versus Raiden. Metal Gear. Oh, I thought it was more. more <laughs> well, you should have known. Okay. Metal Gear. Uh, let's see. Luke Skywalker versus Harry Potter. That's tough. I'm going Luke though. That's tough. I feel I feel like Luke could easily use the Force to pull away that wand. I don't know, kind of magic. But then again, Harry could easily quit. You know, hit that uh, Avada Kedavra and, and send that motherfucking packet. You know. <laughs> that's the truth. You know, like yeah, that's saying, tough. Like, that's tough. One. It's, it's an easy one, right? you know. Especially from the wall, but if you give the master one, the, the Voldemort, the, the, the master one. Ooh. I know they broke at the end, but if you had the master one, it's even more powerful. Sure. I don't know, bro. That's tough. Yeah, some great ones coming. There's some great ones out there. Mm -hmm. We did Venom versus Bane, right? I think so. Uh, let's see. Thor versus Raiden. Interesting. Donkey Kong versus the Knuckles. That's some good one, man. Yeah, that's some good ones. Oh, Deadpool versus the Mask. They did Black Panther. They got bite. They had the shit out of Batman. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Uh, yeah, you going back some years, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just seeing what they got. They got Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai. Not that one either, man. Yeah, they got some good ones, though. They got some good ones. Let, let us know which one y'all wants to react to next. Oh, Obi-Wan versus okay. Kakashi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. That's, a, that's an interesting one. But yeah, but let us know which one y'all want us to react to. Even Ryu versus Jin. Ooh, I kind of like this one. Beast versus Goliath. That's a good one too. I'm taking Goliath all day. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Beast is smart, bro. He might just be like, you know what? Let me wait this fight out until the sun. That's true. And kick his ass off the damn yeah, the statue. Yeah. yeah. So. Very yeah, true. Um, the Goliath, the Gar uh, Goliath can fly though. And he got that wheel, especially when it comes to his girl, he got that wheel. That's to now. But I don't know. Like, these guys got super strength, though. Like, you got some pretty Yeah, that's true. Strong, you know? uh, so, yeah, that'll be a tough one. But, yeah, this was, a, this was a good one. I mean, they, they, they always hit with these, um, you know, fun death battles. It was a fun one. Um, honestly, you know, I was scared at the beginning, but once the battle happened, and like he pulled that shit out a little a little early after I thought you know there were a couple other ones. That well, I saw Greenland leaking a little bit, bleeding. I was like, oh shit, maybe we got something right here. Yeah, he bled after he. Because then it was like, oh, we in desperation mode now. Yeah. But hey, Greenland found a way, bro. I mean, I should I should have disrespected. I should have you know Greenland is tough. I should have thought about how. I was scared for a second when he went back in time. I was like, oh, I didn't shit. think about that. I didn't, I didn't I didn't think about Greenland's experience with fighting in different battles. Like Bill and Tins fought things, but he hasn't had no nothing like that. Greenland's fought with you know Superman, the rest of the guys. So he's fought some serious, he has some world. But yeah, when he turned into like an accelerator, I was like, you know, that ain't no problem because I mean, he's just, he, he, 
he works with the flash every time. No, I'm pretty facts. sure he knows what it's like to go up against him. Yeah, you facts. Know? So, I, yeah, so I, was, I should thought that. I went Ben 10. I thought, oh, shit, he got a little bit of everything up in his bag. I thought also I took into consideration that the, the, the watch would protect him from everything that tries to kill him. But I guess, you know, chopping the arm a little different. So, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, we'll be back, guys. The watch, the watch doesn't give you spider sense now. Yeah, that's true. So, that's true. Yeah, that's what that's it tough. Is. Yeah. We'll be back, guys. This is a good one. This is Four one. one, we're going back. Three, oh, we one. one, we'll be back. Three, one. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Victorious again. Give me my ring. Give me my third. Go ahead and give me my third ring. I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm about to go on Bill Russell. Well, you ain't Jordan. You ain't three P. You know, I'm on Jordan shit. I'm three P. You ain't three P. You ain't three P. You ain't three P. You shit. I'm glad like, uh, Nick Anderson in Orlando. Rip that, rip that, take that rock from that nigga. Uh, you know what I'm uh, saying? We going for uh, three P. That's a W. Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, that's, like, how, that's how you fuck hey, it up like that. That's that's James, once James did that, it was never the same That's him. a W right there. When James did that, it was never the same for him. But uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts on. Um, Green Lantern versus Ben 10 Death Battle. Hey, you lucky it wasn't John Stewart. I would have a little different opinion. He would have handled that. He would have handled that from the start. But you know, hey, it's also okay. a little different beast. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts on Green Lantern versus Ben 10 Death Battle. Uh, did you enjoy this reaction? If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. We just looked through some other ones that we thought were cool. If y'all like any of those ones that we just mentioned, y'all just mentioned, y'all like any of those, let us know in the comment section. We'll get to them. Or let us know what you guys want to see. If you guys have one y'all want to see or do, remember, it doesn't have to be Marvel versus DC. It could be anything. We'll, we'll react to anything that's Death Valley. Like, we'll give anything a show. Even if we don't know the characters, we'll still go in there and pick it. I actually enjoy those because you don't know anything. You're just going based off like learning. You're learning, and you're going based off just like, oh, okay. Yeah. So there's no like predetermined history that you already have. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So um, we take anything y'all want to watch and check out so just let us know in the comment section below make sure y'all like share subscribe i'm javante yes, we have one three right now we'll be back don't worry about us he ain't coming back but this is dre and jay distance fellas take care guys